Today's video is going to be a Holland and Barrett haul. I've got everything in this little bag here. I've not done a haul video for a really long time, so I thought it'd just be nice to sit down and chat and show you what I got from Holland and Barrett. First things first, yes, that is a Christmas tree in the background. This is my makeup office that I'm filming in and I like it to look a little bit more Christmassy earlier so that I can pre-film all of my Christmas videos. Well, not all of them, but some of them. So because I wanted to film some Christmas videos earlier this year, I wanted to get the tree up so it looks nice and festive. Any old excuse to get that tree up early. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the haul and I will show you what I picked up from Holland and Barrett. The first thing that I'm going to show you are the snacks that I bought. So here are the sesame snaps that I picked up. I really, really like these. These are the ones with coconut. I'm obsessed with anything that's coconut. I just really, really like it. I like wearing it as a scent. I like eating it, everything. So these are really, really nice. They were a full pack, but I ate them. <laughs> I've been waiting to film for a few days, but because I've had a bit of a chest infection, a sore throat, a bit of a runny nose, I had to hold off on the filming and I just couldn't resist them. I just really needed to eat them. So I ate two packs of them. Next is the Moo Free Crunchy Banana Bar, which is here. I think these are probably actually for children, but I really like them. So this is dairy free, gluten free, and also vegan. I'm not allergic to any of those things, but I just really enjoy eating this and I feel as if I'm being a little bit healthier by doing so, so I don't feel as guilty eating them. And this is so nice. It just tastes like milk chocolate to me with bits of banana inside. So that is really, really nice. The next thing I picked up is my ever favorite Thuja or Thua tablets. I'm not sure how to pronounce them. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments for me because I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. So these are the Nelson's Thuja tablets in a click pack. So they are a homeopathic remedy and I use these for my skin. I can't even tell you how much these help my skin. You'll know if you've read my blog that I had a really, really bad outbreak of acne. Again, my skin has been so, so hard to control. I'm under a dermatologist and I thought I'm going to try these again because I'd stopped taking them. God knows why. I'm back on them now and my skin is a hell of a lot clearer. These are really, really good. I will link my blog post in the um, description box so you can have a look at my before and after pictures after using this. They're absolutely incredible and they're homeopathic too, so I feel like it's gentler than taking sort of, you know, antibiotics and things like that. So these are an amazing thing to try if you're struggling with your skin. And they're also commonly used for things like warts. If you get warts on your fingers, these will just make them disappear. It's perfect. So let's get on to the more beauty side of things. So as I was stood at the till paying for everything, I saw these Dr. Organic, is it? Yeah, Dr. Organic Lip Farms. Again, like I said, addicted to coconut. This is the Organic Virgin Coconut Oil Lip Balm, which is hydrating and nourishing and multi-action smoothing. So this is just a nice natural lip balm to pop on, perfect for winter weather. As you know, I always use Carmex, but just fancy to change and obviously it's coconut, so why not? And this is quite like a large amount that comes in here too. It's, it's a wind up. It's, it kind of confuses me. It twists the opposite way to what you would Thing. like other ones twist that way this goes that way so it always foxes me a bit when I open it but you get a good amount there I can't remember how much I paid for it but they're not expensive and they feel really really nice and hydrating on your lips and obviously the smell of coconut next I picked up something that I'm quite intrigued about and again it's from Dr Organic and it's the organic snail gel it's an intensive anti-aging moisture mask and it's meant to rejuvenate, purify and moisturise. So I'm going to save this. I'm going into hospital soon um, for like a little procedure and I just wanted something to look forward to when I came home. So <laughs> why not a snail mask? Why not look forward to putting snail gel on my face? So I'm going to try this then and I will give you um, a review about it. But again, these aren't expensive to pick up and they're meant to be really, really good for your skin. You'll have probably heard about snail gel. It's been all over the press, all over the beauty world um, as being like a miracle ingredient for anti-aging. So we will see. We will see. The next thing that I picked up is a bath bomb. I didn't know that Holland and Barrett actually did bath bombs until I went in a couple of weeks ago and picked one up for me and a friend and we both really, really liked it. So this one is called Happy Honey and it just, 
it just smells really nice and soft. These bath bombs are um, probably not as strongly scented as the ones from Lush, but they just feel really nice and soothing in your bath and they make your skin feel really lovely when you get out too. Everything feels nice and soft and moisturised. So I can't wait to try this one. And then because the penny sale was on and it would be rude not to get an extra thing, I decided to pick up some more eucalyptus oil. This is from Mia Roma and it's refreshing 100% pure essential oil. So this one I like to put in my bath or in an oil burner, especially when I've got a bad chest or a cold. It just helps me to feel much clearer and much fresher. So I always put a bit of this in my bath. I'm currently using one that I picked up from TK Maxx and I'm almost out of it so I needed to buy another one of these. And because the penny sale was on, I got the lavender one for a penny which is amazing value. So this is soothing and I really like lavender in my bath as well or I'll use it as a body oil. So I'll mix a little bit of it with a moisturiser or my normal body oil or even a coconut oil and pop that onto my skin and it just helps me to feel really soothed and relaxed. And it's just nice and comforting when it's these cold winter nights. Just makes you feel a little bit pampered and a little bit more comforted. So I also picked up something for my skin, which is the Organic Vitamin E Pure Oil Complex from Dr. Organic. So this contains Vitamin E, Rose, Rose Hip and Jojoba Oil, which is meant to be absolutely amazing for your skin. So it's for use on stretch marks, scars and dry skin, and it's 100% pure bioactive oil. So because my skin's been quite bad lately with acne and breakouts, I have been left with a lot of redness. Um, sort of underneath my skin and it's just not been looking too great to be honest. So I wanted to try this to see if it would help. I've been using it for about five days now and I can use it both before I put my makeup on on a morning and on a night. It's not broken my skin out, it's not made my skin any oilier, it's just been amazing to use. I'd heard a lot about people using jojoba oil on skin and how good it was and all of the benefits so I really wanted to try it out and see if it'd work for me too. And so far, so good. My skin has never felt smoother. So what I will do is um, a little review on this once I've used it for a little bit longer just so I can give you a truer reflection on what I think. Um, so yeah, this is another good purchase that I'm very happy with. So that is everything for my little Holland and Barrett haul. I absolutely love Holland and Barrett. I could go to that shop every day and not get bored. I just love looking at everything that's inside, like all the vitamins and minerals and different skincare and bits and pieces, all the food. I could, I could spend a fortune in there if I allowed myself to. I hope you enjoyed my little haul video. If you did, please like the video below and also please subscribe to my channel if you're new. I would love to have you on board and that way you won't miss any videos in the future. See you all soon. Bye!